I am reading this article from my blog, link in the description. Five things to expect in your first year of speaking in tongues. Before I get into the article, a quick mention. I have a shop selling t-shirts with custom speaking in tongues quotes. Link is in the description. Your first year of speaking in tongues will be the hardest. The devil fights so hard against speaking in tongues in the first year because he knows you are vulnerable. In your first year of speaking in tongues, you will lose count of the number of times you will think of giving up. It is good if you know what to expect. Most people who quit speaking in tongues altogether do so in their first year. To attack at the beginning is a spiritual principle that the devil has used for ages. He still uses it today. After the creation of man, the devil attacked with deception. When Moses was born, the devil attacked. When Jesus was born, he attacked. When you receive the gift of speaking in tongues, the devil will attack. God permits the devil to attack to test your faith. People who receive the gift of speaking in tongues without a revelation don't survive the attacks of the devil in the first year. In my first year of speaking in tongues, I witnessed a number of people who had received the gift of speaking in tongues give up. I knew I had to be alert or else I would also be a victim. I thank God I kept the faith. What to expect in your first year of speaking in tongues? 1. Speaking in tongues will feel like mountain climbing. Even if you have never gone for mountain climbing, I'm sure you know it is hard. Speaking in tongues in the first year is going to be hard. It is always hard. God designed it to be hard. The difficulty comes in different forms for different people, but it is guaranteed to be a challenge. It is not uncommon for believers who have received the gift of speaking in tongues to think of quitting in their first year. The same way a baby cries after being born because the conditions outside the womb are harsh, getting born into the world of speaking in tongues will be harsh. You will speak syllables and feel they are accomplishing nothing. Uttering the next syllable will feel like lifting a heavy boulder. Many times you'll wonder how other believers who speak in tongues survived that season. You may even think you are doing something wrong, but that is how things go. It is just that not many people share about their struggles in speaking in tongues. Don't worry though, the Holy Spirit will help you. Expect most of the resistance to come from your flesh. On some occasions, you will easily flow in tongues, but most of the time you will struggle. In my first year of speaking in tongues, I found it easy to speak in tongues when I was among other tongue-speaking believers, but I struggled on my own. Hopefully, this article will help you find hope in your first year of speaking in tongues. 2. You will barely experience anything supernatural. I'm sure you must have heard testimonies of people who experience supernatural occurrences as a result of speaking in tongues. I have shared a few testimonies myself. But don't be fooled. Those testimonies don't come in the first year. You will be lucky to get even one supernatural experience in your first year of speaking in tongues. In addition, if you get a supernatural encounter in your first year of speaking in tongues, it is going to be a low-level experience. In your first year of speaking in tongues, you barely have the spiritual understanding to encounter deep spiritual mysteries. Most of the speaking in tongues you will be doing in your first year will feel more physical than spiritual. You are more likely to experience fatigue from speaking in tongues than a supernatural experience in your first year of speaking in tongues. Despite not having supernatural experiences in your first year of speaking in tongues, don't give up. That is what happens for most, if not all, believers. Some people receive the gift of speaking in tongues supernaturally, and then they enter the wilderness season where they don't experience any supernatural encounter until their first year is over. We once prayed for a young man to receive the gift of speaking in tongues, and he began speaking in tongues fervently. He was completely overtaken by the power of the Holy Spirit. As I stood by watching him, I knew a difficult season was awaiting him, but I knew the Holy Spirit would carry him through. I have never met him again, but I'm sure he is a serious tongue-speaking believer today. 
3. Fighting doubts in your mind. The most prominent occurrence in your first year of speaking in tongues is usually doubts. Those doubts come in all shapes and sizes. Because you'll be experiencing speaking in tongues for the first time, you will have many questions. The devil takes advantage of your questions to plant doubts in you. You may start questioning yourself if you are really speaking in tongues because you are not experiencing any supernatural encounters, yet other tongue-speaking believers claim to be experiencing it. I have told you what to expect concerning supernatural experiences in your first year of speaking in tongues. Other doubts come in the form of questions regarding the syllables you are uttering. You may have been told that speaking in tongues is supernatural and you don't have to put in any effort. While that is true, understanding it is not always easy. In your first year of speaking in tongues, you will feel as if you are forcing the syllables you are speaking. It is so hard to differentiate between voluntary and involuntary speaking in tongues in your first year. In my first six months of speaking in tongues, I kept asking God to confirm to me if the tongues I was speaking were real tongues and not my own words. I was so glad one day when someone interpreted the tongues I had spoken. To me, that was a sign from God that the tongues I was speaking were real. Expect many doubts, but don't give up. Provided you are genuine in your heart, God will confirm to you the tongues you are speaking are from Him in due time. 4. Weirdness in your relationships Receiving the gift of speaking in tongues is a step higher in your spiritual journey. The fact that you are advancing spiritually means you will elicit different reactions from people you know. Some won't care that you are moving up in spiritual ranks, but others will take note. Those who are spiritual will be happy for you, but those who are carnal will resent you. In extreme cases, you may lose a friend or two. If your family members are not spiritual, your relationship with them will take a hit. You may feel as if speaking in tongues has made your life harder. It is true that speaking in tongues will make your physical life harder, but your spiritual life will become easier. It comes down to the fact that the desires of the flesh and those of your spirit contradict. When your relationship with carnal friends is strained, you will have a stronger desire to have a deeper relationship with Jesus, and that is a good thing. Your first year of speaking in tongues will bring a shake-up to many of your relationships. Don't be afraid. It happens all the time. After the disciples of Jesus received the gift of speaking in tongues, persecution broke out. They had to flee from Jerusalem. Initially, the Roman leaders overlooked the gospel. But when the disciples began operating in the power of the Holy Spirit, it brought them to the attention of the Roman leaders. Likewise, when you start speaking in tongues, you attract the attention of the devil. The devil incites people close to you to come after you. It is the price we have to pay for following Jesus. Just like Paul, rejoice when you are found worthy to suffer for Jesus. 5. Feeling a spiritual high Despite your first year of speaking in tongues being more of a struggle than a fanfare, there is one highlight. You will feel a spiritual high. Receiving the gift of speaking in tongues is a step higher in your spiritual journey and knowing that you are growing spiritually will make you feel good. If you are begging God to speak in tongues, you will be glad that he heard your prayers and answered you. There is great joy when you finally receive the gift of speaking in tongues. Most of your first year will be full of joy when you remember the fact that you are finally speaking in tongues. The joy of having the gift of speaking in tongues is a gift that God gives you to enable you survive the persecution and suffering you will have to endure in your first year. Treasure the joy and don't get tired of thanking God for giving you the gift of speaking in tongues. In fact, when you thank God for the gift of speaking in tongues in your first year, you will barely struggle to overcome the challenges that come. Things to expect in your first year of speaking in tongues. Conclusion Your first year of speaking in tongues will determine how fast you grow in the gift. Those who hold on to their faith will enjoy the great benefits of speaking in tongues. Setting the right expectations will make it easier for you to survive the first year. 
It is sad when believers lose faith in speaking in tongues in their first year because no one told them what to expect. The short brief that preachers give before praying for people to speak in tongues is barely enough to push someone through the first year. You will need frequent validation to hold on to your faith. You can always come back and read this article whenever you feel your faith in speaking in tongues is dwindling. Peace.